about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. Let's head down to the coin toss down. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's tackled at the 21. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sideline, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. He wants it all. And he snags that one. And that tackle very well could have saved the touchdown. Excellent execution on one side of the ball that time. And it looks to me like the defense was in a little state of confusion. Let's see if they can pull themselves together. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31. He's at the 20. And they finally bring him down at the two-yard line. That's a that makes it first and goal. It's first and goal. Ball on the two-yard line. They're crowding the line. And it pays off. Touchdown. Coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a fourth play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Fernandez fields it at the 19. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 43. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Got an opening. Heading for the corner. Rushing. Get six yards on the play. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. 
This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Booming kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Has some daylight. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gaining four yards. That makes it second and six. First and ten. Ball on the 18. Brought down around the seven-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Scrambling around. That's a great tackle at the nine. That's a loss of two yards on the way. From the nine yard line. Second down. And they're in. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Fernandez takes it at the 14. Brought down at the 25-yard line. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. run up the gut. That's a game seven. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Mike four, Mike four. Play action here. He's going to scramble. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. Score here in Denton is 
the Hedgehogs, 14, the Wildcats, nothing. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Mike Ward, Mike Ward. Hey, go. Going right to his tailback. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tackle right around the 46 yard line. Lucky flinch down there on the line. Ball start, start offense. offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Play is number eight on the drive. He scrambled. He's at the 40, and he's tackled at the 40. third down now and they're going to need about four he's hit and taken down tenth play of the drive Pickup rushing gains around six yards on the run. That'll make it They're about four yards away here on second down. And he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. The 16 yard line. From the 16 yard line, it's first down. He's got it out to his tight end. He's tackled at the 15 yard line. And here's the 14th play of the drive. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. That brings us third and ten. Third and ten. Ball on the 16. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's under pressure. And he's going to come up with a sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. It's up, and the field goal is good. like they're ready for the kick. 
Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Big first half lead here, Herbie. Well, they've done a nice job here in the first half, and they've been able to build up a big lead. But remember, it's a four-quarter game. Make the adjustments at halftime and continue to try to fight this defense to get more points. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Quick throw. The offense calls a timeout. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he throws it away. catch this guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous no wonder he's looked to on third down first down 10 to go ball on their own 47 Quick throw. He's taken down around the 48 yard line. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings him second and five. He's out of bounds at the 46. That's good for a gain of two yards. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. He fights forward to about the 43. Anytime you can put the quarterback on the ground, or in this case, bat the ball at the line of scrimmage, you're letting your presence be felt. Believe me, that quarterback is aware of the play of the defensive front. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 40-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires quick. He catches another. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36-yard line. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got a change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after him. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Short of the first down. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 37. The Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. And he just gets rid of it. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. They come out in an empty backfield. He's scrambling. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. And he tucked that one in for about five yards. The defense calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This just shows you the kind of talent this team has. It's been kind of a roller coaster, and they're still in good shape. Yeah, they've been inconsistent, but you, you're right. It does show you how talented they are. They, they had such a great start. They've cooled off here in recent drives, but they still have a big lead. It'll be interesting to see how this team plays in the second half. Passes to the back, incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. Myers quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and 10. Makes it out to about the 21-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. The Wildcats use their second timeout. Fernandez awaiting the return. He really got a hold of that one. Fernandez fields it at the 24. Tackle at the 28. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 27 yard line, it's second down. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. The score here in Denton is the Hedgehogs 14, the Wildcats 3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. You know, sometimes you see defenses play good in stretches. This has been the longest stretch I've seen one defense play in a football game in a long time. Yeah, I think the consistency is the thing that stands out. I think they got off to a great start at halftime. They made a few adjustments, and they've come out even played better, believe it or not, here in this second half. Gives it to the back. Tackled for a loss. Second down and 11. Ball of the 29. Washed out, and he's going to get sacked. That was a loss of four yards. Throws it deep. And he 
He's level at the 19. What a throw. Well, here you get to see how accurate the quarterback is. He places the deep ball in there perfectly. Just a great throw. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. That makes it second and six. Two tight, two tight. Four down, four down. Mike, four. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Seven, ready. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. That is a loss of one yard. So we're looking at another third down here. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 10. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody open downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. And the goal line defense digging in here. in there. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. And they get nice yardage on that run. They're about four yards away here on second down. Here he goes. Makes it out to about the 49. First down. Six yard line. This guy is out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block, as they found out right here on this play. It's second and 13. Ball on the 46. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Caught open field, and he's taken down at the 46 yard line. That'll bring up 36. Receivers got the first down. Tackle made at about the 35. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. It's two on the carry. Game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Now he tries to buy some time. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Hey, 
Steps out of bounds at the 33-yard line. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And he's taken down at the 19-yard line. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in the third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's tackled around the 17-yard line. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 17. Fires it out. He's out to the 30. He's knocked out of bounds. Around the 32-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 32-yard line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? seven-yard line. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The score here in Denton is the Hedgehogs, 17, the Wildcats, 10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Only gets about a yard there on the halfback counter. He really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 48-yard line. Quick throw. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He's tackled the 39-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's taken down at the 27. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. Pass to the tight end, but he bottles the ball away. 
And this is the 11th play of the current drive. They bring him down. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnover. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. And they got him. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Just under three to go in regulation. Brought down at the 43. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. Makes the catch and look out. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. He scrambles. They'll make the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he snags that one. And they make the stop at the 30. Just under two minutes in the game. He's out of bounds with the 21-yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's scrambling, tries to get around the corner, and he's tackled in the open field. out to about the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18. Another run. They'll drop him for a loss. The Wildcats taking their first time out of the half. This is the ninth play of this drive. Wildcats use their second timeout. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. To get back in this game in the fourth quarter, this third and long is huge. Hit a 
as he threw, and he completes it. And kill, kill, kill. Black five, black five. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. And here's a quick throw. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. point to tie this game up and he hits the PAT late in the fourth quarter and with that score we are now tied and the way things are going we might be going to an extra session or two looks like they're ready for the kick and he got all of this one great kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback Late in the fourth quarter now, game is tied. Which coach can outcoach the other? It's a chess match right now. Under a minute left in the game. Slings it, and down he goes at the 26-yard line. and we are going to settle this one in overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. From the 25-yard line, second down. Fires out to his wideout, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. set throws it in a hurry a huge play and now they're in a great position to score first down and they come to the line with a first and goal in for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Got a first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's taken down around the 15-yard line. for the corner the 10 and he shoved out of bounds around the five yard line first down and they've got their eyes on that goal line and he's immediately tackled looks middle got his back 
That brings him second and goal. Two times, two times. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. And he's got the touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. Both offenses did well responding to the early pressure of overtime. Now we'll see who can play better defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw. And he's tackled right away. That makes it first and goal. Field, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick throw, almost intercepted. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. It's on a move, touchdown. steps up and gets a big six points here in double overtime. And that gives him some breathing room for the time being, but I'll tell you, the way this game is being played, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this offense on the field again in a third overtime. He makes the PAT. From the 25-yard line. First down. Under pressure. And he might want it all here and done. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, the Hedgehogs, 31, the Wildcats, 24. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.